Hey everyone, Jeff Sire from The Practical Drummer here, and I want to show you part seven of Spice Up Your 6-8 Grooves. This one is actually going to uh, be, be a metric modulation, meaning I'm going to show you a polyrhythm that actually sounds like it's going to become a new tempo, okay? And, and purely metric modulation is when you take the polyrhythm and create a new tempo. We're not going to do that. We're going to still reference the old tempo, 6-8, uh, but I'm going to show you. It's going to sound like actually like a 4-4 groove over the 6-8, okay? But I'm going to show you how to do it. So simply, it's this. If I have the hi-hat going on 1 and 4, and all 6 with the right hand, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple measures of the basic 6-8 groove we've been learning. You know, the standard. Okay, we've already done that. But the third and fourth measures are going to be this. It's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, back into a regular 6-8 groove where the snare drum hits the 4. So again, it sounds like 4-4, four, four, right? Just a regular 4-4 four, four groove. That's what 4-4 four, four sounds like, right? But we're doing this in the context of 6-8, so it gets a little dicey, okay? Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, okay? But the trick is to add the left foot on 1 and 4, which references the 6-8. Here we go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. See, I just messed up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Okay, you see that? So, I want to put these together now. I want to do two measures of regular 6-8, so you can feel the 6-8, and then do this polyrhythm, which is actually a quarter note triplet, uh, that sounds really cool. It sounds like you're almost going into 4-4, but the left foot is still referencing 6-8. Okay? Let me do it slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I just did that pretty perfectly, okay? Again, two measures of regular 6-8, two measures of the polyrhythm. Okay, let me put, bring it up to speed, and uh, then you can hear it even a little bit deeper. Again, you can play different left foot patterns, the 2, 4, and 6, the 1, 3, and 5, uh, and that sounds really cool, actually. So here's just a pure 1 and 4. Here we go, up to speed. Here we go. Okay, so I'm still counting six, eight, right? I'm just counting one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, right? Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay, so just slow it down. It's a little odd because you're not now hitting, you're not hitting on a four now. You're going around the four and it's creating that polyrhythm, okay? The cool thing, though, is in, in a band situation, or even in a solo situation, you can actually take this 4-4 four four and make it the new tempo. So what I'll do is I'll do a couple rounds, and the second time we go into this polyrhythm, I'm going to take that as the new tempo and just play around with it, okay? So I'm going to lose the 1 and 4 and just go with it. So I'm actually going to go into 4-4, four four, 
Okay, I'm going to use that new polyrhythmic tempo, uh, that new polyrhythm to go into a new tempo, and that's actually called mod metric modulation. Okay, it's going to sound like this. So you'll see the left foot stop the one and four and actually go into four four. Okay, it's going to sound like this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see, I took that polyrhythmic tempo, I could have gone back to 6-8, but then I, I stopped the left foot and I thought of it now as 4-4, four, four, okay? Which, it actually sounds like 4-4 four, four, even when you're in, in the 6-8 groove, uh, but I stopped thinking 6-8 and I went into 4-4 four, four, and then just had some fun with, with um, that 4-4 four, four groove. So you can also get back to 6-8, and I'll show you that at a, in a future video which is really kind of fun to be grooving in 4-4 and then use another polyrhythm to come back to the original 6-8 tempo. It's totally fabulous. Bands do it all the time. And so that's, again, just one creative idea for you. It's great for soloing and go from 6-8 to 4-4. Uh, instead of 4-4, I could have gone into 3-4 or 5-4. It doesn't matter, you know, because once you're in that quarter note tempo, doesn't matter if you go into 6-4, 7-4, whatever, you've, you've used the 6-8 to launch into this new quarter note kind of feel, okay? So that's it. I hope you have fun practicing this and uh, report any comments. Take care.